The Uganda Human Rights Commission has resumed tribunal court sittings after two years. The chairperson of the commission, Maria Mwangaja, says 50 cases will be decided upon in the next three weeks. At the session opening, the court handled six cases, where four of them are for compensation by the Attorney General, while other two had issues pending. The complaint is allowed. The respondent is ordered to pay the complainant, Arod Habert, a total sum of shillings, 11 million, 140,000. Just like the case of Ismail Kola, I'm unable to go ahead to deliver this uh, decision when I'm not even sure who I'm in whose favor uh, I'm delivering this. The commission says it is facing a huge backlog of 1,700 cases as old as 2004. Have 1,700 cases as our backlog. And these cases are not only at the central region. Please take note that these cases are in all our 12 regional offices. The commission has 12 regional offices and we conduct tribunals in each of these regional offices. So the backlog comes from all the 12 regional offices around the country. And when we come now to cause listing, we have to prioritize the older matters because there are newer matters like you've rightly noted. The tribunal next sitting will be at the Gulu Regional Offices next week, where 17 cases will be decided upon before proceeding to Soroti Regional Offices. And out of the 50 matters, 19 are going to be heard um, for our Central Regional Office. 17 are going to be heard at our Gulu Regional Office. And 14 are going to be heard at our Soroti Regional Office. Uh, of which we also have some matters that are going to be heard from our Moroto Regional Office, making a total of 50 matters. Chachadekera Grace, one of the complainants, was unhappy with the tribunal decision of awarding him 6 million shillings, saying depending on the magnitude of torture he underwent. I'm not so much content with the judgment, based on the decisions of the tribunal. One, the amount awarded to me, was very, very little. That's one. Two, those officers who are actually violated against me, I didn't hear about them. For each case, they look at the nature of injuries the person suffered and the impact of the injuries on the person before they make, uh, before they make a ruling to a particular effect, especially when it comes to compensation. Mary Namkose.